Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, August 14th. We finally have some relief insight to the very wet weather pattern that has uh, been experienced here in the Mid-Atlantic region over the past several days. It looks like it'll be rain-free on Wednesday and probably on Thursday as well in much of the Mid-Atlantic region. However, today is another unsettled day. Chance continues for some showers and thunderstorms. It does not appear to be quite as a widespread a possibility uh, as it was on uh, Monday. We had heavy rainfall on Sunday throughout the D.C. metro region, uh, much of Virginia. Yesterday morning, torrential rain fell in southeastern Pennsylvania on the order of three, four, even five inches of rain. Another inch plus occurred in many areas overnight last night and there have been some scattered power outages as well to go along with this very wet weather pattern but again some genuine relief is in sight with rain free conditions expected on Wednesday and Thursday we do have the chance for more showers and storms on Friday with the arrival of the next cool frontal system before we get to the local weather situation let's just take a look at an update of what's going on in the Pacific Ocean we're uh, again following the possibility of the development of a weak El Nino in the central part of the Pacific Ocean as we evolve into the fall season and certainly through the uh, winter season expecting a weak El Nino in the central part of the Pacific Ocean. One index that I track that gives us a clue as to what's going on in the Pacific Ocean is called the Southern Oscillation Index. It's really just a uh, an index that uh, factors in the pressure differences between Darwin in Australia and Tahiti and the pressure pattern down there in that part of the Pacific Ocean kind of gives a clue as to whether or not sea surface temperatures will start to rise in the equatorial part of the Pacific Ocean. Specifically, if the SOI, the Southern Oscillation Index, drops into negative territory and stays uh, in negative territory for a sustained period of time, that typically uh, is a signal that El Nino is developing and sure enough here we have the latest daily SOI index and it's dropped all the way down to a near negative 20 and th this is a drop from the, the previous 30 days and the previous 90 days and again this is perhaps tipping us off that finally that El Nino that we've been waiting for is, is uh, s uh, starting to evolve in the equatorial part of the Pacific Ocean and that will have major ramifications on the winter outlook here in the northeastern part of the country so we'll continue to follow this over the next several weeks well first of all let's get back to the local weather situation this is a look at the uh, radar uh, most of the activity right now is upstate Pennsylvania pretty much in the clear across DC and Philadelphia and New York City Notice the rotation of these echoes, and that has been the general pattern over the past couple of, of days. Very slow-moving storm systems, slow-moving shower cells. All that has contributed to the excessive rainfall that has taken place in much of the Mid-Atlantic region over the past few, few days. Now, notice again, upstate Pennsylvania getting hit hard right now. Certainly, there is the threat for showers and thunderstorms in the immediate I-95 corridor this afternoon, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line and the possibility of uh, some heavy rainfall as well, again, generally north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. Well, let's take a look at the upper level pattern from last night's Zix C uh, GFS model run. Deep upper level low situated right here on top of the Mid-Atlantic region as we begin the day on Tuesday. This has been the main culprit for the unsettled weather conditions over the past few days. We've talked about this many times this summer, uh, how uh, a deep upper level low this time of the year especially causes instability. And we've talked about it so often because it has taken place so often. We've had several stretches of three, four, five, six, seven days of wet weather in the Mid-Atlantic region, often associated with this uh, look to it, a vigorous upper level low. When you have that kind of a feature, basically it's telling you there's cold air aloft and given the time of the year with a very warm uh, conditions in the lower part of the atmosphere cold air aloft leads to a lot of instability potential heavy rainfall potential strong thunderstorms that's exactly what we've had over the past few days well let's move forward here and notice what happens this finally begins to kick out here we are now by tomorrow morning 
that deep upper level low tends to weaken a little bit. It kind of opens up and gets kicked out. That's the reason for optimism for rain-free conditions on Wednesday. It looks like that will last into Thursday as well. Then we may have to deal with more showers and storms on Friday. But here we go. During the day on Wednesday, higher heights in the upper part of the atmosphere, higher heights aloft, not only translates to dry, rain-free conditions, but more warmer as well. Most likely low to mid-80s for highs this afternoon in the I-95 corridor, but certainly 90 degrees is on the table, maybe even the lower 90s in parts of the I-95 corridor, not only on Wednesday, but on Thursday afternoon as well. Here we go. Still a, uh, a higher heights than normal here as we begin the day on Thursday. Then as we get towards Friday, notice a little dip in the uh, height pattern here across the Midwest as we begin the day on Friday. This is associated with the next frontal system and that moves into the area later in the day on Friday with the threat for additional showers and thunderstorms. Looks like that will kick on out of here in general uh, by the weekend, although there will be a, enough instability left behind. Cannot rule out a shower or a thunderstorm both Saturday and Sunday, but generally maybe a mixed bag to uh, a little bit better than a mixed bag expected here this week and following the uh, Friday frontal passage. Again, dry conditions expected on Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe more showers and thunderstorms to worry about for Friday as the next front arrives. Well, now let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from last night's 6E GFS model run. These maps from tropicaltidbits.com. The model itself, GFS model, the global forecast system produced by NOAA at College Park, Maryland facility. Here we are beginning the day, and again, most of the activities upstate Pennsylvania, but as we go through the next few hours, we'll start to see the radar fill in uh, closer to the I-95 car, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line, and basically from D.C. north and east, again, primarily focused north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. There will certainly be the threat for additional showers and thunderstorms this afternoon into the early part of the evening, and given the high humidity levels, there certainly can be some additional heavy rainfall. Of course, grounds are saturated. Any heavy rainfall would raise the possibility of flash flooding throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, wherever that heavy rainfall occurs. Then as we get into the day on Wednesday, that deep upper level low kicks out of here. Drier conditions develop for Philadelphia, D.C., New York City on Wednesday. And with the increased amounts of sunshine expected on Wednesday, Temperatures will climb to higher levels, reaching at least 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. It looks like the uh, same thing on Thursday. Here we are, Thursday morning, dry here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Again, with abundant sunshine, high temperatures of 90, maybe 92 degrees or so on Thursday afternoon. And then we see as we get towards Friday, another frontal system. It drives southeastward across the Great Lakes, and that could produce some more unsettled weather around here on Friday with the threat for a new round of showers and thunderstorms later Friday into Friday night. Hopefully, that clears out of here for the weekend. It looks like the main part of that funnel system does kick on by. There certainly can be an additional shower or thunderstorm on Saturday, perhaps on Sunday as well. More on the upcoming weekend over the next couple of days. But again, unsettled again today with a chance for showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening, especially in those areas north of the Mason-Dixon line. Any shower or thunderstorm that forms later today can produce heavy rainfall and the potential exists for flash flooding. Rain-free conditions likely on Wednesday and Thursday and with the increased amount of sunshine expected for those two days, High temperatures, probably the 90 to 93 degree range on Wednesday afternoon and Thursday afternoon in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Another round of showers and thunderstorms possible on Friday into Friday evening with the arrival of the next frontal system. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.